you expect them to have. Don't assume anything. Okay? Never assume that yes, this will be correct. Always check out their permission. Now we're going to look at managing our users. So I want to define the special users that we actually have within the databases. We look at roles and application roles and the permissions that we can apply at the database level and at the schema level. Now we're also been running um, a bit of a script here to actually uh, show you what uh, what I mean by managing your permissions. And you, you don't have to run it with me, but I, I'll, uh, I'll sort of talk you through it so that you understand where everything is. Now, we, we manage the users to provide the access to an individual database. Okay? So, in order to get the users in there, we have to basically grant them first access to the server, and then we grant them access to the database. And we can map those user, those logins, either to uh, a Windows group or to just a, an individual user account at the Windows level. Now we have to create them, so we use the New SQL Server Management Studio or the Create User Token. Now in order to see how all of this comes together, in the if you are on your server here. There is a script that can take you through, and I'll just, just go and, and open it, and it's in the add value demo, yeah? And it's called PAL mod for the security demo script, okay? So if you, if you open that up, right, you see how I'm using, first of all, Adventure work. I'm creating a schema. I'm creating a table on that schema. Then I just insert some values into that table. What I want to show you, or what this script is designed to show you, is who owns objects. Yeah? At what point do people actually own objects, users, or groups, or schema. So, if you look here, we actually create these objects, and then I'm showing you where the, the definition of these objects, or information about these objects is stored. I'll run the create script first, and then I say, fine, show me the information that I have I can look at the schema, and I can look at the objects themselves. And by executing this, I'm okay, and looking at my results, it will tell me here that my test schema has an ID of 10, the principal ID is 1. Now, that 1 actually is DBO. So the database owner, which is a built-in group, owns this schema, right? So the principal ID is 1. The table, as you know, when you look at the principal ID, who owns the table, it appears that no one owns the table, yeah? But the table is in a schema owned by DBO, so it's basically that objects in a schema that are owned by DBO, basically those objects, unless a specific owner is defined for them, are owned basically by the schema and hence the schema owner. 